Hi, welcome you all for online spoken faculty development program on Advanced Communication Laboratory. Today we will discuss about uh, the experiment number 7, session 1. Uh, the experiment is a simulation of wireless channel equalization using MATLAB tool. First of all, we have to discuss about uh, what is uh, channel uh, equalization. As an outline, uh, we have to talk about uh, uh, the communication system model and why we need to go for uh, equalization and uh, the design of equalization, match filter concepts and the timing concepts. As a com digital communication system, actually it requires a transmit and a receiver filters. Uh, these transmit and the receiver filters is the sides of the channel. The digital communication system requires these two filters shapes the transmitted signal to meet the spectral requirements. When a system is designed according to the matched filter criterion, there is no ISI, there is no intersymbol interference. When the sampling at the time period t, uh, we can get back the signal. Uh, this problem happens when the filter coefficient h of t is infinite, the bandwidth of the channel is limited. So, this will always leads to ISI. Then the symbols uh, will overlap with the nearby symbols which can lead to lower the performance with the synchronization error. So that is why the matched filter and the equalizer and timing is the basic concept uh, to refer the channel equalization. Uh, before going to in deep, uh, we have to discuss the base of the receiver structure that is matched filter concept equalizer and timing diagram. So this matches the matched filter matches the source impulse and it maximizes the signal to noise ratio. Then the equalizer actually removes the intersymbol interference. With the help of the I diagram only, we can see the receiver how far we can get back the original signal. So as a base, we can say that the ISI cannot be avoided uh, and the two sides of the channel, we can assume the transmit and receive filters as a matched pairs only. Hence, the effect of the channel is countered by means of an equalizer. So, the regardless of the ISI, the role of the transmit filter is important to fit the transmitted spectrum into the appropriate spectral mask. So, in the block diagram, uh, the transmit side in the receiver structure source uh, uh, that the received signal may be D of I and from the, tra so the, the transmitted signal may be D of I and pass to the transmit filter and uh, the signal channel is nothing but the noise has to be added and it is received in the receiver side g or x of t is the receiver side filters. So the transmit and receiver side filters actually be uh, matched pairs then only we can uh, eliminate the channel or we can avoid the ISI. So, regardless of the ISI, the role of the transmit filter is important. It requires the usage of long duration waveforms and the spectral occupancy reduction. So, from the received filter only, we have to reconstruct the signal as a switching function, the timing function as soon as the detection system, we can recover the signal when the signal to noise ratio is maximum. So the received signal is as to be studied and we have to recover the signal back with the help of the proper detection system. So the equalization is all about compensating these effects 
and recover back the distorted signal so the equalizers are basically used to remove these effects and generated in the signal through the channel by using an inverse filter only uh, so we have a properly shaped transmit pulse is selected as a sync function which has no isi but when transmitted it would be combined with additive noise which actually resembles the isi so we can say that this is uh, for example a input signal s of t is mixed with the noise n of t so the transmit signal the, in the first diagram this transmit signal is uh, the a distorted undistorted signal transmit signal that is a square pulses we selected uh, at the receiver we can imagine it is distorted by a lot of noise and at the receiver side looking a good ideal uh, so the deal more likely so that the transmit signal only the top uh, frame only distorted so if the signal to noise ratio is maximum we can get back the original signal so the signal to noise ratio is maximized when the impulse response with the filter is exactly reversed and the time delayed copy of the transmitted signal then only it can be recovered back as the required impulse response at the receiver side is shown in the second diagram so the received uh, signal to noise ratio has to be maximized at the time period and the optimal receiver filter for the maximum signal to noise ratio we can imagine for example this is the transmitted uh, transmit filter uh, function and uh, the time domain and also the receiver filter is matched both transmit and receiver filter has to be a matched pairs then only we can uh, receive at the receiver so the matched filter concept we can learn from as a linear receiver uh, so this is the sample uh, block diagram for the matched filter the signal is uh, uh, g of t uh, white noise is mixed uh, w of t and the mixed signal in the channel is nothing but x of t it is passing through the linear time invariant filter of impulse response is taken as an h of t and the output of these uh, uh, lti is nothing but uh, uh, y of t and after that reduction system is passed through the sample at a time time t is equal to capital t we are getting the y of t so x of t can be generated so with the help of the matlab code we can generate the x of t um, w of t g of t everything as an zero mean probability distribution function so when we talk about uh, uh, the channel that is the equalization channel if the channel is not ideal so when the signaling is not nequest so there will be a surely intersymbol interference at the receiver side so in the term domain the equalizer removes this uh, isi in the frequency domain flats the frequency response so this is the block diagram for the uh, equalization transmit filter channel so that function has taken uh, as a transfer function is taken as an p of f in the frequency domain channel is considered as an c of f and we are going to add this so uh, the noise then uh, there is an adder then receiver filter is h of f and equalizer is e of f so we can construct the signal and we can generate the function as the noise variance the output of the equalizer will be see the transfer functions all are taken into account the transmit filter channel receiver equalizer everything so this is the noise variance at the output of the equalizer see when the channel has a spectral nulls so the significant noise enhancement will be happening with the uh, following uh, the variance effect so e of f equalizer function is nothing but the inverse of the channel function c of f and where e power e power minus j of f e of f is nothing but the phase of the uh, channel filters function so that is what we have shown in the previous block diagram this is called the zero forcing equalizer so it's a linear 
equalizer this one is a linear time invariant uh, system with the zero forcing equalization so the transfer function as 1 divided by c of f a channel transfer function c of f multiplied by e power minus e j into a of f the phase of the c of f is included in the transfer function so in the zero forcing equalization The equalization process naturally the way to compensate the ISI effects by using an inverse filter as a channel impulse response. So how do you meet the requirement of the equalization is uh, the filter coefficient design is most important generally the conventional methods or the a zero forcing equalizer and the least mean square method so is it fe and lms are more important so they but the adapt will go to the adaptation of the equalizer it will attempt to minimize the error signal based on the difference between the output of the equalizer So the transfer function when we see about the transfer function of the equalizer the transfer function of the equalizer h of f is the simplest way to remove the ISI is to set a transfer function as an inverse of it for all the equalization concept this is nothing but zero forcing it applies the inverse frequency response of the channel of the received signal and then this zero forcing equalizer has a tap coefficients which is chosen to minimize the peak distortion of the equalized channel. And it is based on the tap we have selected for the channel impulse response. The tap gains of the EZF equalizer, there is zero forcing equalizer can be found by the direct solution of the linear equations only. So this is a sample uh, uh, taken as a baud rate sampled equalizer for a system of the X of T is selected in such a way that it shows the response like this. So the X into C is nothing but the G is selected the channel response is the X inverse into G. So forcing zero forcing equalizer having the five taps has generated as the X is selected G is the matrix and the C is nothing but X inverse into G. So when we talk about the uh, adaptive equalizer, so it changes to the channel changes that adapts itself. Um, see in the block diagram top a block diagram it shows that the adaptive equalizer and it is a decision making device then the switch as shown for first position and second position and there is a training sequence generator and uh, see the block diagram so the output from the output is uh, given to uh, the summation symbol plus and uh, the from the y of n the summation input is given as minus and from the summation uh, adder is given to error signal is given to wk. So the adaptive filter is in such a way that it is designed that the filter coefficients has to minimize the error E of n. So first of all what will happen is the X of n is fed into it and the weight is multiplied over that and will get the Y of n and the Y of n is fed back to the sum up right it will get subtract the signal which is coming from the output and also the y of n the estimate of the y of n minus the y of n is nothing but the error so that error is again fed back to the adaptive equalizer so the decision making device will make a decision that which will estimate the a of n but the training sequence first of all initially the training sequence has generated and that training sequence is fed into the adder 
and it will generate the error signal based on the y of n so each time it is passed through the decision making device so it will generally automatically it will adapt the situation that in such a way that to minimize the error function e of n using but the adaptive equalizer and the block diagram shows the lower block diagram shows the uh, the structure detailed structure of the input signal and how many taps it has to use to design a system so this can be a simple block diagram it's so for the forward uh, section decision device and the feedback section is from the estimate symbol it is given to the feedback system then it is given to the summer to get the exact decision which is similar to that uh, the original signal as a recovered recovered signal will be equivalent to the original signal so who the use the decisions made on the basis of the precursors to make care of the post cursors so it consists of the feed forward feedback and decision sections so system is a non linear so this outperforms the adaptive equalization it outperforms the linear equalizer when the channel has a severe amplitude distortion or the shape cut out of so there are different types of equalizers so first one is a linear one is a zero forcing equalizer this ignore the additive noise and may significantly amplify the noise for the channels with the spectral nulls but the minimum mean square error and the uh, least mean square error equalizers minimize the mean square error between the input and output of the equalizer of the transmitted signal so this requires a knowledge of some auto and cross correlation functions actually which in practice can be estimated by transmitting a known signal over the channel so these adaptive equalizers are needed for the channels that are time varying then the blind equalizers are needed when no preamble or training sequence is allowed so it is non linear so decision feedback equation dfe is or uh, tentative simple decisions to eliminate the isi so it is non linear so ultimately the optimum equalizer is a maximum likelihood sequence estimator that is also a non linear one so we can have the matlab demo of the zero forcing equalizer to understand this equalizer concept with the help of the matlab code we'll discuss in matlab code thank you